Alright, so on this next one, it's kind of interesting. Uh, it's a Burgertown cabinet, but it has the real Midway Classics board in. We're not going to bid on it because it's uh, a multi cade kind of thing, but it, it's a much better built multi cade than you see in a lot of these options. So, really impressive. Just before that, a Galaga with an unlimited speed chip, which means it was, it was hacked beyond just a single chip. Sold for $875. Probably a, definitely a an ultra speed chip record, uh, given that, that you don't really want those hacks on your board anymore. Um, maybe it was just a ROM swap, but normally that, that involves a double ha hacking both the ROM chip and uh, another chip, uh, which becomes really problematic. So, 875 for an ultra speed chip Galaga um, that just came off of an operator's floor. Definitely a high price. So, that said, uh, I don't think the price has been too high so far, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Hey, I got boots. I got nine seventy. Hey, I got nine seventy. Okay, nine seventy. Thousand dollars. Thousand dollars. Nine seventy. 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 Uh, a lot of arcades trying to get it. Uh, the truth, and the truth is, 975 for a centipede is will seem high, but the wood was absurd. The monitor was absurd. If it was at a dealer, the dealer would be asking three or four thousand dollars and probably get it. Um, so I, I kind of let our, our our competition kind of bleed out after like the four or five arcades were all bidding on it for a second. Uh, and now um, we were able to sneak in and buy it. It's a high price, but for a condition that that's like, that, that is that high, it's probably fair. Probably good. Probably good buy. So here's what's cool. If someone else bids, I'm done. So I'm at four hundred dollars. That's exactly what I wanted to pay. It's a working millipede original in kind of rough shape. So I'm done. Someone just outbid me, and I'm done. Uh, but it's kind of an interesting. I was able to turn the in the middle of the auction. Nah. So I just thought that was really fun because I knew that was my top. I got in. I thought I might get it for it, but it's no big deal. I didn't. We have them in the collection, uh, and this one's in relatively rough shape. So and they're at five twenty-five now. Okay, so Double Dragon 3 is a cool game, and I know it's a cool game, um, but what was really interesting is uh, it's in such rough shape. The monitor is bad, the cabinet's bad. That you're buying that just for the PCB, so we went ahead and double checked the PCB value just to make sure we weren't missing something. Um, PCB value is something like 200 bucks and good condition, and they're at five, they're more than 500 dollars right now. And uh, honestly, to get that up and working, uh, it would take way too much work. It would, it would not be a good commercial buy. So hopefully, uh, hopefully that doesn't wasn't a barcade buyer. Hopefully that was a home buyer who's gonna love it because uh, any barcade just made a huge mistake. So what we have here is a, a Galaga that's turned on, but it's in kind of rough shape, um, and there's a board glitch. Um, so they're, they're calling over one of the board techs that works nearby that, uh, what's probably true is uh, he'll probably say something that's really simple. It's probably a, a ROM corruption. He's gonna... So yeah, they're, they're trying to make it seem like it's really easy to fix, which the truth is with Galaga, it could be, but it also could be brutal. Yeah, see, he's... He's being honest, and they wish he wasn't because it's, I mean, his diagnosis was the video chip. I actually think it's a ROM corruption. Could be either, um, uh, because it, it, in that video section, it, it, it stores the sprites. And it, it has just a generic sprite glitch, but it could. Uh, I mean, uh, you'd probably want to replace all of it. Um, 
and allegedly they have $600 on a busted Galaga, so not a huge interest of ours. Um, I don't, I mean, guys, like, I, and that, the truth is, I don't want to console for a single barcade in the world, but guys, stop making these terrible mistakes. It's just bad. Um, and I'm sure, actually, we've got a Simpsons and a Sunset Riders coming up that are completely hacked up, not running original parts, and I guarantee they're about to sell for thousand plus dollars to the same buyers. Um, and uh, it, the sad fact is, is, they're just not as good in their in the condition you're buying here. And so people will buy these, put them out on an arcade, and ruin Simpsons and Sunset Riders for people, which both of those are all-time classic games. Really disappointing. They're going for seven fifty. Six fifty. Yikes. Oh wait, the Cyberball is coming up though. This is something I'll overpay on and regret it later. Here's what I'll say though. I will absolutely stop bidding. If we get to a thousand dollars, I will not bid another dollar. Um, if it goes anywhere below it, we will end up with it. So we'll see how it is. You've seen three of these in our warehouse. It's our most requested game. Uh, but most of the barkeys that have tried it, including us, uh, have learned that the people who play this game are hard on the game. So we'll see. So I lied about that. I, I, I bid a little extra. But I felt like I'll probably pull out in a bid or two. The truth is, it's, it's still a good buy. But I'm going to stop after this one. I didn't buy it. Oh, I thought he was. I'm sorry. 102, 102. So, I lied. I bid way too much on that, but I also kind of thought that it, um, it would stop sometime. So, I was actually bidding because I thought a couple hundred dollars would work quite well uh, to, to, to kind of grab that sidewall, which was using the right joysticks, right monitors. Um, it's not a tournament sidewall, it's an original, and you have to upgrade that to a, to a tournament for it to be. Uh, to get that kind of value, but uh, interestingly enough, uh, one of the, th the things I've learned is those early 100 bidders, 100, 101, 102, are the people who put games in, uh, because I came in without putting it in and they gave me a 210 series, so I'm 210 on my bidder number. Um, so I'm not saying for sure that's the buyer, because every time I say on eBay that that was the, or the owner of it um, bought it back, uh, people have said, no, 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 that had to be something else. I would, my guess is that that was the owner buying it back. Um, which, maybe 1400 is a little low. If you put that on the internet, you might get 2000 for it. So, um, we were, we really only wanted to pay 1000 I went higher than that and still didn't get it, so no regrets there. Uh, now they're at $1,300 on uh, these knockoff bad Konami cabinets. And they're at $1,500, it's crazy. 